look at the equations example number two you've been told to solve the equation log 2 to base x minus log x to base 2 plus 8 over 3 is equals to 0. Now how do we solve logarithmic equations with different bases? In this case we have log 2 to base x and log x to base 2. How do we make them to have the same base? Now, if you have log 2 to base x, that is the same as 1 over log x to base 2. From the rules that satisfy logarithmic equations, we found that log y to base x is simply 1 over log x to base y. One is reciprocal of the other. So, log 2 to base x will be 1 over log x to base 2. Then it is minus log x to base 2 plus 8 over 3 to be equivalent to 0. Now there we now have the same base. The first term is to base 2. The second term is log to base 2. So we let log x to base 2 to be another unknown y to make it look more simpler. So 1 over log x to base 2 will now be 1 over y because we've let log x to base 2 be y. So that implies that 1 over log x to base 2 is 1 over y minus log x to base 2 is y then plus 8 over 3 is equals to 0. So where there is log x to base 2, you substitute with y. Now make that more simpler by multiplying both sides of the equation by y. Multiply both sides of the equation by y. To make it more simpler, we get rid of the denominator. We get rid of the factor in the denominator by multiplying both sides by y. So y times 1 over y will be 1. y times, then we have minus y times y will be y squared. Remember time outside the bracket multiplies everything inside. So y times y is y squared. Then y times 8 over 3. So we have plus y times 8 over 3 is 8 over 3y. 8 over 3y. So we are done with the left hand side of the equation. On the right hand side of the equation, we have 0 times y. Anything times 0 is 0. So that is now a quadratic equation. We rearrange it to make in form of a standard form of a quadratic equation. So rearrange it in standard form of a quadratic equation starting with the term with the highest exponent. So we have minus y squared followed by plus 8 over 3y followed by positive 1 is equals to 0. So that is a standard quadratic equation. So a standard quadratic equation is ay squared plus by plus c is equals to 0. So we can now solve it using quadratic formula where in our case a is negative 1. a is negative 1 in our case. We have b is positive 8 over 3. b is positive 8 over 3 and c is positive 1. So b is positive 8 over 3 and c is positive 1. So we substitute the value of a, b, c in a quadratic equation. So quadratic equation y is simply minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. Everything over 2a. So substitute the value of a, b and c. We have minus 8 over 3 plus or minus. Remember b squared is 8 over 3 squared which is 64 over 9 then minus 4 times a times c. So that is 4 times negative 1 times 1, which is just 4 times negative 1. So everything over 2 times the value of a, that is 2 times negative 1. So if you simplify that, we have negative 8 over 3 plus or minus. So square root of 64, square root of 64 over 9 minus 4 times negative 4 times negative 1 is positive 4. So it is 64 over 9 minus 4 into negative 1, that is 64 over 9 plus 4. 
So 64 over 9 plus 4 is 100 over 9. So we have square root of 100 over 9. So square root of 100 over 9, then everything is over 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. So that will be negative 8 over 3. If we simplify it further, plus or minus root 100 over 9 is 10 over 3. It's 10 over 3. Then everything is over negative 2. So there we have the two values of y. The first one is we use the positive sign. So y1 is negative over 8 over 3 plus 10 over 3 divide by negative 2. So minus 8 over 3 plus 10 over 3 will be negative 2 over 3, then divide by negative 2, then you end up with 1 over 3. The next value of y, we use the negative sign in the middle, so we have negative 8 over 3 minus 11 over 3 divide by negative 2. So that one gives you, in the numerator, we have negative 6, then in the denominator, negative 2. So if you work out that, you get 3. So remember our y, our y, our y was log x to base 2. So there is y, we shall put log x to base 2. So it implies log x to base 2 is equal to the first value of y, which is 1 over 3. Then again, log x to base 2 is the second value of y, which is 3. So that means x is 2 to power third, or x is 2 to power 3. And that is the solution if you use logarithms by definition x is 2 to power third or x is 2 to power 3